Hi, I'm Juliet from Spoil Rotten Beads and today I'm going to show you how to make these super sparkly coronet bracelets using the Chaton Monti beads that we've got in and silky beads. So this kit is available in four different colourways, the emerald, the aquamarine, pink sapphire that I'm going to show you how to make today and the black diamond which is the one that I am wearing now. So to make this piece you're going to need some silky beads, these are two holes silky bead. You'll need some chaton montees, these have got a two holes again um, running um, either side of the bead. You'll need some size 11 seed beads, some 3mm fire polish beads, a clasp, some fire line beading thread and I'm using the six pound strength today and then you'll also need some size 12 beading needles. It's really important to get the right size beading needle with this pattern because you will need the smaller size 12 beading needle in order to pass through these Chaton Montees. First thing you need to do is thread up your needle with a length of fire line. Around about one and a half meters is ideal. And then you need to add a stop bead onto that. So to do that, I'm gonna pick up one of these size 11 seed beads and I'm gonna take it down to the end of my thread here. And I'm not gonna leave much of a tail cause I shan't need it. So I'm just gonna take it down to um, around about sort of 10 centimeters or so from the end of my thread. And then I'm gonna go back through that bead there and that will create a stop bead which will stop everything from falling off the end of my thread as I thread my beads on in a moment. So that's my stop bead added. The next thing you need to do is to thread on the uh, silky beads and the size 11 seed beads and the rose montees. Now the way that we're going to do that is to make sure we need to thread the silky beads on in the correct direction, in the correct way, so that when you start embellishing the bracelet, it all fits together nicely. If you look at the bracelet that I'm wearing, you'll see that the silky beads here have all got a ridge along the top here, and I'm gonna use the, that as the front of my bead. The silky beads have a flat side, which I'll sort of show you here, and they also have a ridged side. It's up to you which side you use, but I would suggest that you use the same side as the front of your bracelet. So choose either the ridged side or the flat side and make sure you thread all of your silky beads on in the same way so that that side is, is up all the way along. So I'm gonna use my ridged side. It's harder to see on these pink beads, but you have to trust me, that is what I'm doing. So I'm threading on a silky bead, uh, followed by three size 11 beads, followed by one of my Chaton Monti beads. And again, it's important to get these on in the, set, in the right way. So I'm gonna thread mine down and then lay it out on my bead mat so that you can see what I'm talking about here. So this is the front the ridge side of my silky bead, and this is my um, Monte here. And you see that it's facing the same way. It's not um, flipped up the other way with the sparkly side, this side, it's all facing the same way. But that's because when I go back through the pattern and start adding the beads onto this side of the piece, I want them all to be facing the same way. I'm gonna pick up three more of my size 11 seed beads, another of my silkies. Take that down. Uh, make sure I've got it the same way I have. It's all working at the moment. Three more size 11s and again another rose monte. I'll take that down and let you have a little look at that and then I'm going to continue doing that all the way along. So I'm going to continue doing that all the way along until I have used all of my um, silky beads and I'm going to be using 13 silky beads and I'm going to be using 12 Montees. So I've now threaded on all 13 of my silky beads and all 12 of my Monte beads. And this is gonna make a bracelet that is 18 and a half centimeters long, which is around about seven and a quarter inches long. So that's a good size bracelet. It should fit most wrists. If you need to make it a little bit longer, then just add a few more silkies and Montees at this stage. So I have made sure that everything is threaded correctly. It's all facing in the same direction. And you can see that it's ready for me to go then back through all the empty holes on this side of my bracelet to fill those in and to create that crisscross pattern that you have on this piece. So I'm coming out of my last silky bead here and I'm going to pick up five seed beads. I'm going to take those down to the 
and there. And then I'm going to go through the empty hole on my silky bead there. So pull that through and then I'll get my finger out of the way and show you what it looks like. There we are. So I've gone through the empty hole on that silky bead there and it's brought the thread around to the other side of the bracelet. I'm now going to pick up three more size 11 seed beads and I'm going to go through the empty hole on this Monty. I'll pull it all through and then I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. I'm coming out of that empty hole on that Monty and I'm going to pick up three more seed beads and go through the empty hole on the next silky bead in the pattern. And I'm going to continue all the way down the bracelet until I have filled in that side of the bracelet. And I shall come back to you when I have done that. So I've gone all the way down the other side of my bracelet and I'm ready to turn the corner again. So now I'm going to pick up just four seed beads because I've got my fifth one here, which is my original stop bead. Take that down to the end and then go through the stop bead and the silky and the next three seed beads that I get to in the pattern. And I'm making sure at this stage that it's all pulled nice and snug up to one another like so. And then what I want to do is I want to finish off this tail thread that we left right at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is go through the Monty, down through the Monty, so I pop out the other side and going down through, if I turn my bead over you can see I've gone down through the hole at the back there in that Monty. And I'm going to go back through the seed beads and the silky so that I get back to that tail thread and then I can finish off that tail thread by knotting it with my working thread. There we go. I'm going to get my hands out of the way in a moment so you can see. So I am now back with that tail thread there and my working thread next to each other. So I can now tie them in a knot. So I'm going to tie a double knot here. There we go, nice double knot. Pull that tight and that knot will slip in between those two beads there. Like so. And then I can take my needle and go through the seed bead, silky seed bead on this side of the bracelet. I haven't quite made it through that seed bead, so I'll do that separately. So I'm going to pop out of the seed bead that is next to the silky on the side of the bracelet there. And as my thread is now, my tail thread here is now finished off, I can now trim it off with my, with my scissors. So I'm gonna do that now so that doesn't get in the way whilst I make the rest of my piece. And now I'm ready to embellish the sides of my bracelet because this bracelet is embellished with a three millimeter fire polish bead and a seed bead down the side which gives it that lovely sparkle on the edge there that you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm coming out of a, I'm coming out of a, um, a size 11 seed bead. I'm going to pick up another size 11 seed bead, a three millimeter fire polish and another size 11 seed bead and I'm going to skip across everything here and go through the seed bead that is next to the silky and the seed bead that is on the other side of the silky. And I'll let you have a little look at that for a moment there. I'm going to pull that through and then you'll be able to have a look and see how that looks. There we go. And you see I've added a little three mil um, fire polish there and I'm going to continue down the side of my bracelet adding a three row of three mil fire polish all the way down this side of the bracelet here. So I've gone all the way down this side of my bracelet adding the three millimeter fire polish beads and I've popped out at the end of this last silky bead here. What we're going to do at this stage is attach one side of the clasp. So I'm going to sew through the first three seed beads that I get to. Okay, there we go. 
and I am going to add on six seed beads. Like so, and then one half of my clasp. And now what I'm going to do is go back through that seed bead that I was exiting there. I'll just move that so that you can have a look there, see what I'm doing. Pull that all the way through and that will form the clasp loop. And then to strengthen that clasp loop, I'm just going to work my way back through all of the beads in that clasp loop just one more time so that there's a double layer of thread running through those beads there. And back out through the last bead there. Pull that tight. There we go. And now I am ready to stitch through and start embellishing the other side of my bracelet with the three mil fire polish in exactly the same way as I did on the first side there. I'm stitching through until I'm exiting that first seed bead next to a fire polish and I'm going to pick up a seed bead, a fire polish and another seed bead and go through the seed bead, silky seed bead set right there like so. And you can see that that is the other side embellished and I'm going to work my way down the bracelet all the way to the other end and then I'm going to attach the clasp in the same way. So you see I've gone all the way down the other side of my bracelet and embellished it and it's looking super duper sparkly now and I'm ready to add the other end of my clasp and finish off my bracelet. So I'm going to stitch through the first three seed beads on the end loop there. I'm going to pick up six seed beads. the other half of my clasp and then I'm going to go back through that seed bead that I'm exiting and then back through all of the beads there in the clasp loop just to strengthen it just the same way as we did the other side of the bracelet. Oh, I've got myself hooked over my clasp there, there we go, back through those other beads. Pull that nice and tight and there is my clasp attached to the other side and to finish off my thread I am just going to stitch down into my beadwork and tie some half hitch knots around the thread in my beadwork there so I'm coming out of a seed bead next for silky I'm going to pass my needle under the thread in the beadwork pull it through so I've got a little loop and go through that loop I'm going to do that another time here And then I'm going to stitch through that silky bead and do it once more on the other side so that that is nice and secure and before I can trim off my thread. So I'm going to do one more half hitch knot there. Pull that nice and tight and then I'm ready to trim off my thread. And my bracelet is all ready to wear. So there you have it. The lovely Coronets bracelet in the pink sapphire. Thank you so much for watching. Please do come back next time and watch some more videos with us. And let us know what you think in the comments below. Bye bye.